All right, what is up? This is Slow Plays, and I'm here today for some V Jump leaks, articles, and all that great Dragon Ball news. Finally, after such a dry period of content and news, uh, we're finally getting some stuff regarding the V Jump on Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, Dragon Ball Legends, and Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. Uh, at this current moment, I don't know anything about fighters. Obviously, there will be nothing on Xenoverse 2 just because, you know, we already got the latest free update and everything, and I just don't see any content really planned. Uh, anytime soon I'm not saying that there won't be any but for now just don't really worry about you know looking for Xenoverse 2 new uh, DLC or content until further notice um, we have a lot of new stuff that is actually very vital for uh, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot and like I said some cool stuff with uh, Dokkan and Legends so let's go ahead and jump straight on into it. I'm gonna be talking about everything in this one video uh, we're gonna be starting off with Dragon Ball Z Kakarot first with the new information regarding DLC pack number two which is known as the Resurrection F DLC I want to say a big massive shout out to Ryo Kucha for uh, providing the actual leaks and of course DBS hype for putting out the scans translations credited to Inumaru08 so definitely go give Inumaru08 a follow if you haven't already so let's go ahead and uh, let's check it out let's see what it, they have to say so uh, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot DLC 2 V Jump details we have uh, some stuff that I don't know look look I don't know about you guys I'm waiting for a release date obviously there still is no release date at this current moment but um right now even it is stated that there is no release date mentioned as you can see <laughs> like right there but um it says crowd battle mode added something new i guess uh more than a hundred enemies will attack you just like in the fight scene of the resurrection of f so uh to my knowledge i mean to what they're stating in here it's gonna be this if you guys remember this scene uh from the film it was like cg animated i think with at least you know all the background characters there were probably only maybe like 10 actual like you know soldiers that were really drawn out and everything but the rest looked like they were just like 3d animations if i'm not mistaken but yeah there was a shit ton of enemies and uh this is actually gonna be kind of interesting it's gonna uh almost remind me of uh you know the hack and slash kind of style i guess that you have with like dynasty warriors or if you ever played like you know the zelda hyrule warriors uh, something similar to that, I guess, in terms of, like, the ridiculous amount of enemies that are all really weak, and you can just, like, pile through them like crazy. So, that's gonna be a cool, um, you know, concept. A hundred enemies, more than a hundred enemies, uh, attacking you all at once, and all you have is probably Goku and maybe, like, Vegeta as your assist or something like that. So, I don't know how that's gonna go. Uh, it's gonna be a clusterfuck. It's probably gonna lag the fudge out of the game, bro, but I don't care. It's gonna be really really cool uh, i'm excited for that so uh players can fight in a wide area with in-game moves or newly added ones from the dlc so uh i mean there's i don't really see anything new about that other than the fact that you can uh use the dlc moves or something i don't know it says players can fight in a wide area with in-game moves i mean yeah <laughs> yeah but i'm assuming that's just trying to you know build upon that 100 enemy expansion that they're having so i guess the area where you're fighting is going to be at a much grander scale that's what i'm assuming that means the way it's worded is a little bit weird now, i i bet you anything inumaru he was probably reading this he was like man ryukucha has some bad fucking like <laughs> translation like he, the way he words stuff is horrendous but whatever z combination is joint attack with supportive characters now that sounds awesome so uh i guess you actually will have like i said an assist like kind of like with vegeta in the resurrection f or whatever and you just you know do support you know joint combination attacks and shit so uh again it's all it's all gonna be very very um you know teamwork based i guess because like i said it's a crap ton of enemies that you're fighting all at once like you can't just have one person doing it and this is where uh this move will come in the god speed fist and extreme kamehameha can instantly sweep many enemies so looks like you can start into a god speed fist and then combo into like an extreme kamehameha or whatever that god kamehameha is that he uses it's fucking huge or whatever and you could probably just like i said destroy all 100 plus enemies at like one time or whatever if you can land the combo right maybe there's going to be like a you know little active kind of skill thing going on there but I don't know it's 
it's just descriptions. I can't really go off of just descriptions. I have to see actual at least visual screenshots or gameplay or something like that. And currently, we have like zero gameplay. We have like one screenshot. I'm sorry, not one screenshot, but like a couple screenshots, and that's it. No release date. This is very, very, very like you know hidden stuff like they're they're super cryptic with what they're trying to you know show off right now and they're just being real stingy with what they're trying to show off and that's fine i just don't know when this you know dlc is actually going to launch but a lot of y'all been wondering about kakarot so uh, at least we have some kind of kind of news uh, i'll be sure to report on all of this separately on more better condensed videos uh that are expanded upon whenever we actually get the scans but for now we don't have any so Moving on to uh, some stuff that I'm actually more excited about than Kakar right now, just because I, I saw and there wasn't really a lot of really, really interesting stuff, but it was still, you know, important stuff that you need to know. So, uh, Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle is getting a new active skill Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Relive the episode 55 event coming. Badass, bro. That's what I'm talking about. And Dragon Ball Legends is getting a new meta cooler with the Supernova. And a Vegeta, Big Bang Attack, get, guess what, with Goku, with Goku. I have no idea if that means that's going to be an assist, but that had me shit my pants. I was like, yo, that actually sounds lit, and I had to, you know, go into it, into the movie or whatever. And I was like, kind of fast forwarding through it, and I was trying to look through it, and I was like, where did, uh, where exactly did Vegeta use a Big Bang Attack? So I can see if, did Goku actually, like, help him whenever he did that? Like, I couldn't remember if that was a thing. And, lo and behold, he did. He actually did so i'm assuming that this is going to be a like you know a recreation of this scene so basically what happens in this scene is that uh vegeta gets pissed off and he ends up blowing both of them up and you know they use instant transmission to get out but what is supposed to happen i guess in the game is that right before goku actually helps vegeta like you know he, he's medical is like choking vegeta and then goku comes in and he like kicks him or like you know tackles him down and then vegeta do, like blows him up so i'm assuming this is going to be a vegeta you know oriented character because we did recently get that you know metal cooler goku the green one that actually does that like dragon fist dash or whatever and he's like the you know he rolls and he flips so this one right here is probably going to be uh you know vegeta does like an attack and then like he like punches him or kicks him or something and then goku comes in and tackles him it's almost like a raditz sort of deal where goku holds down raditz so instead he's going to be holding down cooler like on the ground and then vegeta will big bang attack both of them so that's gonna be kind of cool and i mean obviously it's not gonna you know hurt goku really because he's just you're an assist character so uh, I'm, I'm curious to see if that's actually what the case is going to be that makes sense to me you know since they you know started recently doing assist characters more and more i feel like they'll try to put those out more frequently and this is probably going to be all star if i'm not mistaken so uh that's cool i'm excited for that uh for the dokkan battle thing uh it is going to be a super saiyan 4 gogeta that i guess awakens or has an active skill into just super saiyan 4 gogeta so she's gonna be like normal it's normal super saiyan 4 gogeta it's not like he fuses or anything that was not stated i don't know if that's what the case is going to be whenever the vjump scans go live but again like i said i'll do actual better breakdown videos when we actually have the scans right now it's just the information you guys know the information always gets leaked first uh but yeah i mean that's pretty much all there is to it uh i'll go ahead and read you guys the actual you know rio kucha scans so it just says added into the second dlc battle against a large number of enemies more than 100 enemies will attack all at once image of the battle in the early stage of uh, the Resurrection F movie, uh, in addition to existing special moves that the player can attack in wide range, a move to power up the, with DLC and a new special move have been added. Obviously, we know that. Z combination that attacks in co cooperation with support characters. There are also techniques that can wipe out enemies such as the um, Godspeed Fist or whatever into the maximum Kamehameha. And then for Dokkan Battle, like I said, Episode 55 Relive Event, the new Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, uh, with active skill, Metal Cooler, uh, Metal Kula, Metal Metallic Supernova, and Vegeta, Crash 10 Billion Power, aka the Metal Cooler movie, because 10 billion warriors that they had to fight because they were a bunch of Metal Cooler clones, uh, and Vegeta uses the Big Bang attack, and it even says right here, with Son Goku, so, um, yeah, it says, I think the combination attack, Cooler of Death, is one of the most popular characters, but it doesn't get involved in the main story, there was, uh, something super and like that. Yeah, he, he, this right here is just his own description. That doesn't have anything to do with it. But yeah, um, this is going to be exciting to see all these enemies at once and see how the game actually can handle 100 plus enemies at one time. If they're going to be like moving at a different lower frame rate or what. 
I don't know. I've seen games do that before in the past, but um, I think I'm most excited for this Vegeta with Goku uh, potential assist. That's going to be cool. So there you have it. There is all the information. Again, big shout outs to Ryokucha Inamaru for translations and DBS hype. Go check them out down below. I will do an official breakdown and a better breakdown whenever leaks go live on actual scans and stuff. So until then, my friends, please leave a like, subscribe, enjoy the rest of the content that I'll be posting later today and obviously throughout the rest of the time whenever I'm doing YouTube videos. Uh, I love making all this kind of stuff and doing these this content for y'all. And um, it's been, you know, it's been real. It's been fun. <laughs> you guys stay safe. Take care. Peace.